Hello, welcome to the botanical night. I am laying here on kind of middle of Japanese nowhere, but not far away from famous Kaimon mountain. And as it is the very south of the Kyushu island, so that's almost tropics. From me to the south are only islands and then it will be Taiwan and China. So there are many tropical, pan-tropical weeds available around this field. Field is with apparently winter daikon. And around the field is, for example, very funny Camelina bengalensis, the plant which might make several types of shoots, like vertical, horizontal, and even geotropic shoots, which go down into the soil. And this is another funny wheat, which is growing almost everywhere in the tropics. So name is Euphorbia hirta, or in some other manuals you can find the name Hamisitze hirta. So the plant is apparently different from many other spurges, we can call them spurges, by opposite leaves. This is a character of this group Hamisitze, which was once separated from Euphorbia and then merged back again and separated again, so it's unstable genus. And that particular species, Hamisitze or Euphorbia hirta, is different by glomerulus of inflorescences with some kind of long enough, at least you can see them, pedicels. So this is right, it's not flowers. What you see, this microscopic greenish things are inflorescences. So that whole glomerule, whole round shaped structure is inflorescence of inflorescences. So I'm not sure how well it would be visible because everything is so microscopic. But in case of spurge, in general sense, including this hemisitze, the inflorescence elementary unit are multiple male flowers, flowers, which are surrounding one big female flower. So this is imitation of normal flower made from reduced elementary flowers. So male flowers will surround big female flowers. But difference is apparent. Female flowers typically has big pedicel and you can see that is actually a separate flower, not a part of the bigger one. Very funny one. And that structure called cyacea. Cyaceum is that type of elementary inflorescence of spurges. And in case of this species, Cyatheus, elementary inflorescences are united in glomerule and you can see pedicels quite easily. So complicated structure, complicated, strange, extremely reduced structure. This is characteristic to many, many spurges. Interesting thing also is if you search Euphorbia hirta in encyclopedias, you frequently will find another name for that plant. So this is a asthma plant. Asthma plant suggests some medical uses. So that name came from Ayurveda. The plant itself probably is native to India. However, it's very hard to say. It's so widespread around the tropics. But in India, it was used in multiple ways and mostly for respiratory diseases. So asthma prevention is one of them. So medically, this plant being kind of wheat is still quite useful. So this is one of spurges, or if you separate that super, uh, hemisitsa one, you can say it's one of hemisitsa plants, hemisitsa hirta, or Euphorbia hirta. This is the field in the Kyushu Island, Japan, on September 20th. Actually, 20th to 21st. Thank you.